So as promised, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, my cooking kit. Different cooking kits I bring in different times of the year or in different situations. Let's start with uh, canoe trips or anything that'll take more than two days. This is my first cook kit for that. So what do I have here? Normal cloth. A spork with a case. Don't need the case, but when things get dirty, you don't have time to wash things. It's handy to have a case, but you can also use plastic like I do a lot of times, like here. This is a small spatula, a small butter knife. I made both of these with a birch wood. Here's some uh, spices. The bag, I made this myself. It's nothing fancy. It's just an old pair of black jeans. And I just basically sewed a bit of paracord to make a, something to close and hang. And just cut a length of uh, my jeans and then sew the ends, well, one of the ends. The good thing is that, you know, this is full of suit most of the time and the bag is black. It's just a perfect combination. Now the pot itself, it's a normal stainless steel pot and it's uh, very sturdy, it's good. Now inside the pot, it's great to carry stuff. I have, I always keep a little bit of birch bark just to start a fire. To wash my stuff, myself and this, this is a wilderness wash, concentrated, it's biodegradable. But as you can tell, it's still full pretty much. I barely use this. I usually just use moss, ash, uh, whatever I have at hand. You know, put this to the side here. Bit of sugar. This is a little stove bought in a, a type of a Walmart store in Sweden. It's called Viltema. And it has never let me down. This is a plastic bag. Usually, since I'm lining the pot with stuff, imagine the, you know, I'm having a quick lunch and for some reason I don't have time to wash my, my pot. I'll just put this plastic inside and then put my stuff on it. And it doubles as a trash bag if you need it also. This is a mixture of 50% salt and 50% herbs. Olive oil, my favorite oil. Stock, just normal kitchen stock cubes, like uh, what do you call bouillon, 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 <laughs> bouillon. Anyway, everybody knows what this is. I always bring a bit of fuel, a gas uh, little thing, and my stove because, you know, many reasons. Sometimes there's a fire ban, then you have to use this. That's one of the main reasons. Sometimes you're just lazy. Bit of foil, I want to cook something in a foil, be it potatoes, fish, uh, whatnot. This is a filter, a normal coffee filter. And what I use this for is I just put it here like so. And when I get water from the lake or river, I'll just run it through here and that'll get rid of most of the, the gunk. You know, not the microscopic stuff, but obviously if there's little pieces of leaves, and whatnot, it will all get stuck here, and then it's just to pull it off, dump it out, and boil the water. Uh, normal steel wool scrub, that goes with the cleaning stuff, and an extra lighter, and that's that. So this pot, I usually bring it with me if I'm canoeing, or like I said, if I'm camping for more than two nights. It's just, uh, yeah, it's handy like that to boil water, especially large volumes so that was this pot I'm gonna put this one away and bring out the next one next is my very dear and very loved Dutch oven it's just brilliant you can use this as a frying pan this is a pot I make uh, all sorts of things like from pizza lasagna jack potatoes 
many many things that you can cook on this. It's uh, my favorite way to cook. The only problem is it's really, really heavy. Of course, I can bring this in on my hand and I do have a bag for it, which is here. But, you know, on a special occasion, I'll bring it to the forest. I'll hike with it. But most of the times uh, I bring this on longer trips. That's part of my cooking kit. And one of my favorite weapons, especially to bake bread. This is wonderful. Making bread on this thing, is one of my favorite things ever. So I highly recommend anybody to get a, a Dutch oven for fun. Stoves. I showed you already the little stove. The other only stove I have is this one. It's a, it's a multi-fuel stove. So what that means is that it'll take diesel, white spirits, uh, it'll burn pretty much anything. And it's very handy in countries where you can't find those uh, little gas bottles. Or here, when it's really cold, usually those gas bottles they, they still work but not as good and sometimes if, you, if it gets cold enough they might not even work and so this is a uh, something that i mostly use it in the winter uh, not much to say this is a pump you stick it here on this bottle i have also a liter and a half bottle but it's uh, overkill this is enough and it's uh, not as heavy obviously it has a couple of little feet it folds but as you can see, compared to the other one, it's pretty big. To make tea or hot chocolate or anything of that sort, I like to have a separate kettle. And this is one of them. I could use my bush pot or any other container that I make food to make my tea. But honestly, there's always a little bit of flavor that stays there. It could be my imagination, but it seems that way another log I'm trying this one now I've only had it for two days and today was the first day that I tried it there's a little bit of soot on it as you can see but apart from this one I have another one from the same store that I said a uh, Biltema from uh, it's made of hard anodized aluminum 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 I don't know and I like it but it was a uh, it was a bit bigger it was a uh, capacity was one liter. This one's uh, 700 milliliters. And that gives me about five cups of tea on this cooksa. And for me, that's more than enough. So I don't need a huge pot. So I have this to boil water. And I also have this. This is my other kettle. I don't really cook on it. I have done so but I'm using it mostly to just get water and boil it and then dump the clean water on this container. I can also use this to boil, I have, but it's a pain in the ass to clean, so it's nice to have one clean container so every time you're thirsty, your hands are not covered in soot. This cup has a cover also in a strainer, so it works as a kettle, so I don't really need this if I have this, but I don't know, there's something about a normal cattle that just feels better. It's not that the tea becomes better, but it's one of those things. And it doesn't really hurt, you know, if I need to, to really use another pot for cooking, I have this one. Well, might as well make some tea, right? Fire in a hole. Next is the kit that I use every day. Even in longer trips, I prefer this one. Same deal, the bag is also made by me using an old pair of jeans. Uh, I'm thinking of waxing this. Anyway, what do I have here? Salt, 
mixed with uh, herbs. This is a bag for my spatula and my fork, which should be here. Oh, there they are. This is a little windbreak or windbreaker. You'd think it's overkill. It's not. It really helps, especially when you're using one of those gas stoves. This is also from that store, Biltema. And I modified this quite a bit. Also plastic bags to line the thing when it's dirty. And that's pretty much it. Another cloth. On this cloth, I made this chain I made. I didn't make the chain. I bought a little chain and a hook. And it's very easy to make a tripod with this. It's just to wrap it around three sticks. And then I have a ways of hooking my pot. It's just handy if I don't want to, you know, spend time making a withy or a pot hook. Just use that. This did not come with it. I sewed it together just to keep these things in place. This would be a frying pan, so they say. I've fried eggs in it, but yeah, I usually use an extra pot to make a sauce or something else. Pepper and garlic. Olive oil. Extra lighter. Dishwashing liquid. The same stove that I show you for the other pot. Exactly the same stove. I have two of these. It's just so I don't have to mess, you know. If you start messing from one kit to the other, putting things in one and then take it and every time you go out, it has happened to me that then you start forgetting things on the other one. So it's, I prefer to have two kits that all the stuff is independent from the other. This is a lid. It did not come with this lid. It was a, a tea kettle that came with this. But it absolutely fits on both the pots, which is perfect. So what I did is I drilled two little holes and I added this bale, which also came with a kettle, not this one, but the same brand as this one. And now, I have a pot that I can hang over fire, like so. It also has bales on the side. They came with this uh, plastic rubber stuff. I cut it off because uh, it was useless. And another good thing is that it fits one of these gas bottles perfectly and snugly in there, as you can tell. Also, the same filter that I have on the other pot. If the water is really dirty, I'll use a mill bank bag. And that's that. So on this kit, I also have a spork. Finally found it. I have this wooden knife also with it. Carved it myself. And some of you seen this from the Tippy Diaries. I made it on my own chopping board. Don't really need to bring this, but I enjoy it. And for me, I don't mind the extra weight. Of course, you can always chop a, a log in half and use it as a chopping board. Or there's many options that are made of plastic. Personally, my own pre preference is uh, wood. I do not enjoy plastic. I don't like the feeling. I don't like the taste of it. There's just something very cozy and very beautiful about using wood for cooking. As a, an accessory, obviously. Uh, and then an Opinel knife. I think that's, oh, missing something else. This is a gift from a subscriber. <laughs> You've seen that I make a lot of bread. So they sent me this because it's small. <laughs> I think it's funny. I'm gonna try it out a couple of times. This, uh, I usually carry this with me every day. Also, it's just uh, to transport eggs. I also have a, a size 12 and a size six but those usually go with me on longer trips. Lastly, is my dear and beloved super heavy frying pan. 
It's made of stainless steel. It's a folding pan. It weighs about 500 grams. So that's quite heavy. But it has a socket here where you can put a stick and you can keep it from far away from you. So in case like right now, it's pretty smoky. It's quite handy. And from so much use, it has created some sort of patina. It has the, the metal here has seasoned. So things don't really get stuck on it anymore, which is uh, fantastic. Anyway, I just love this thing. And just looking at it is making me hungry. So let's make some food, right? This board is also part of my cooking kit and my painting kit. In my painting box, this is, this is used as a ceiling when it starts a drizzling rain, uh, soft rain, it covers the canvas. And I also use it as a, a board to prepare uh, bread. Could use a chopping board, but it's a little bit tiny. This one's better for that. don't really need this you can use your hands but just for fun after all it was a gift and I'm very grateful thank you for this ah, it works really well if you don't have this like I said before you can just use your your water bottle it works just as well. This one's kind of wet now, so I'm not going to use it because it's just going to stick to the dough. But you get the picture. This should pretty much fit in my frying pan now. Usually I fold it like this. It's just easier. Yum. Look at the collar on that. Big fry up. Brunch of woodsmen.
So guys, this was my video about my cooking kit. I don't see myself changing them in the near future. I like to use things for a long time. And if I change something, I'll make a new video for you. And now I'm gonna dig in, cause I'm starving. I know it's cliche, but wow. See you guys in the next one. Laters.